lot of green on that radar map, tracking some rain. You know, what's interesting though, uh, not everything on the map here is reaching the ground. Oh. We are getting some, but let's get right to a Doppler radar and you'll see that there's a good amount of green moving through. But again, not all of this, that leading edge not quite reaching the ground, but I can tell you here in Lansing, it is raining, probably raining down along 127 into Jackson County as well. Even west, there is a few lingering showers as well, but you can see some of the deeper, darker greens. It's coming down at a bit of a steadier rate, and that continues down 127 into Jackson County, the city of Jackson down near Hanover. Tompkins as well getting in on the action, but this is really just light, maybe moderate rain. Not much more than that, but it is leaving the uh, roads wet. So if you're going to be out the next couple of hours, use caution and slow down. 45 degrees right now on campus. The front is moving through and with it, some colder air is set to return. On the western half of the state, that's where the temperatures are in the lower 40s. On the eastern side, we're in the mid 40s. So the cold air is starting to move in. We're talking 30s the next a good 24 to uh, 36 hours, maybe even longer than that. The weekend, do, uh, though, we do warm things up. So this front is moving through. It's responsible for the rain. On the back side, there is some more. You can see showers moving through Green Bay on the doorstep of the, uh, for the folks in Chicago. And on the far back side of this, where that cold air is really wrapping in around, it's changing that rain over to some snow. We'll get some of that tonight and early tomorrow. Let's get right to future track and we'll time it out. The rain that we've got out there moving through this evening, you'll notice by 10, 11, maybe midnight, seeing some dry time, maybe a few breaks in the clouds. It won't last long though. Overnight and early Friday, we're gonna see that wrap around snow move through and it's going to be around for your morning commute. Now I don't think that we'll really see much in the way of impacts, but not a bad idea to give yourself some extra time on your morning commute. By lunchtime, there could be a few lingering snow showers out there, but at this point winds are shifting more to the north and that's going to bring in dry air and that's going to kind of eat away at the snow and the clouds as well. So I think Friday afternoon into the evening, we should dry things out. Maybe even see some breaks in the clouds before that sun sets. And this is all setting the stage for what should be a pretty sunny weekend. You'll see 8 a.m. Saturday waking up lots of sunshine through the afternoon. The clock is moving, but uh, we're not going to see much here other than clear skies this weekend. We'll break it down for you. Uh, tomorrow, not a great day to be outside. Some snow in the morning. And on top of that, it's going to be a cold day and a windy day. We're talking winds 20, 25 miles per hour, probably feeling like the 20s with temperatures in the 30s. So a cold and windy day Friday. Saturday, a good day. Thumbs up. Lots of sunshine. We're also in the mid 40s. Even better on Sunday. Lots of sun. We'll give it two thumbs up. Tonight, low 30s with that rain transitioning to some snow. Not really expecting much in the way of accumulation, but there could be a coating uh, by noontime tomorrow. We'll top out in the middle, maybe upper 30s. It's going to be a colder day and a windy day, feeling like the 20s. But again, the weekend looking good. Rain returns later Monday into maybe Tuesday morning. And Wednesday and Thursday, there could be a, a rain or a mix that returns to the forecast. Get through the rain and the snow tonight yep. and tomorrow morning, the cold tomorrow. And, and we will be rewarded with the week. Sailing, yeah. That's our nice. prize. Yeah. All right, Brett, thank you.